When you are considering surgery or preparing for an operation, it's important to fully understand the treatment being recommended. Explain it to friends or loved ones if you wish to, and give permission for surgery, or what doctors call informed consent. As part of this informed consent process, you need to know what the operation is and why it has been recommended. You need to know about the potential benefits of surgery, any alternatives to surgery, and about the risks of surgery. You also need to know what to expect before, during, and after the operation, and how much it will cost. In the next few minutes, we'll present important information you should have about an operation called laparoscopy. Laparoscopy is a procedure used to make a medical diagnosis or treatment easier by looking directly inside the abdomen. You may have heard it called Band-Aid surgery because the incision is usually small enough to cover with a Band-Aid. The laparoscope is a slender instrument with a built-in light which is inserted into the abdominal cavity through a small incision and serves as a window through which the surgeon can see or manipulate the organs inside. Sometimes laparoscopy is used to help make a medical diagnosis or to get more information about your condition. For example, Laparoscopy can be helpful in the evaluation of pelvic pain, endometriosis, abnormal cysts, fibroids, adhesions, and infertility. It can be used for treatment of many of these disorders and for a sterilization procedure called tubal ligation. Laparoscopy can be used to take samples of tissues to be analyzed in the laboratory. It can also be used to perform operative procedures to remove abnormal tissue such as endometriosis or fibroids. Before you give your permission to undergo laparoscopy, you and your doctor will have discussed the specific reason that this procedure was recommended in your situation. Laparoscopy is most often performed as an outpatient procedure, which means there is no overnight stay. Generally, you'll be asked to arrive several hours before surgery. It's important to have someone with you who can drive you home afterward. There will be some admission paperwork to complete, and laboratory tests may be necessary if they have not already been done in the doctor's office. After checking in, it is routine to have your blood pressure and pulse measured by the nursing staff. If you have not already spoken with an anesthesiologist, one may talk to you at this time. Laparoscopy is usually performed under general anesthesia, which means you are asleep during the procedure. Sometimes, however, only local anesthetic is used to numb the surgical site. The method of anesthesia recommended depends on your individual situation. An IV is started to administer fluids and medications. Usually a sedative is given to help you relax. Then, once the chosen method of anesthetic has been administered, your abdomen will be cleaned with an antiseptic solution. A small incision is made near the navel and gas is pumped into the abdomen to inflate it. The laparoscope is passed through this small incision and into the abdominal cavity. Often, another incision will be made just above the pubic bone so that additional instruments can be used. Occasionally, instruments will be placed in the vagina to help hold or move the uterus and internal organs. Using the laparoscope, the doctor can look at and manipulate internal organs. Video pictures of the internal organs may be displayed and recorded during the procedure. These are actual video pictures of internal organs as seen through the laparoscope. Here is the uterus the fallopian tubes, and the ovaries. After your procedure, you will be transferred to a recovery area where you will be closely monitored for a short time. You may experience some discomfort at this time, but this will be treated with medication if needed. It's fairly common to experience some minor discomforts after laparoscopy, including nausea, tenderness at the incision site, cramps, a menstrual-like discharge, or a scratchy throat from the tube used to help you breathe while under general anesthesia. You may also have some discomfort with urination. These symptoms usually improve within a day or two. Pain in the neck and shoulders are fairly common and may occur when the gas used during laparoscopy irritates nerves near the breathing muscle or diaphragm. Lying down flat will usually help. If pain persists for more than a day, you should contact your doctor. When the physician and staff determine you are ready, you'll be discharged from the hospital. Your doctor may choose to send you home with some medication for discomfort or other medications. Once at home, you'll want to take it easy at first. You may want to arrange to have some help around the house. 
The stitches will dissolve on their own and generally do not need to be removed. How soon you resume normal activities may depend on the reason laparoscopy was performed. For example, patients having laparoscopy for sterilization should be able to resume normal activities within several days. With laparoscopy involving extensive removal or destruction of tissue, the recovery period may be longer. You will be given specific information about restrictions on your activities before leaving the hospital. In some cases, you may be asked to refrain from sexual activity. And in cases of laparoscopy for sterilization, you may be asked to use contraception for a period of time. It's also important that you and your doctor discuss potential alternatives to laparoscopy. When laparoscopy has been recommended to help in making a diagnosis, it is usually because non-surgical procedures, such as x-rays or ultrasound, have not determined the exact nature of the problem. When laparoscopy has been recommended for treatment of a particular condition, you and your doctor should discuss potential alternatives, such as watchful waiting, medical therapy, or other types of surgery. For example, one surgical alternative to laparoscopy is an operation called a laparotomy, which involves more extensive surgery and a much larger incision than laparoscopy. Laparotomy usually involves greater expense and a longer recovery time. If you have any questions about why laparoscopy has been recommended over potential alternative treatments, you should ask your doctor. As with any operation, there are certain risks associated with laparoscopy. Before any medical procedure, it is important for you to have a thorough understanding of these risks. For example, while laparoscopy is often very helpful, there is always a chance that this procedure will not reveal the cause of your problem. Further tests, examinations, or procedures may be needed. Some of the potential complications of laparoscopy are wound infection, infection within the abdomen or pelvis, bleeding, scarring, formation of adhesions, disruptions of bowel function, injury to the bowel, injury to the urinary bladder or tubes leading to the bladder, and injury to blood vessels. If injury to internal organs or other problems occur, more extensive surgery through a larger incision may be required either at the time of laparoscopy or later. Although rare, other complications can also occur, including blood clots, and complications from anesthesia or drug reactions. But fortunately, serious complications from laparoscopy are rare. You should have a clear understanding of both the risks and benefits of laparoscopy after discussing them with your doctor. You should also discuss any questions you may have about what your laparoscopy will cost. It is important that you understand in advance the portion your insurance will pay and what you will be responsible for yourself. If you don't know about these fees or you don't understand them, please ask. We've explored how and why laparoscopy is performed. We've also talked about some of its benefits, risks, alternatives, and recovery period. But remember, it's up to you to ask your doctor about anything you don't understand. Based on this type of information, you and your doctor are the only ones who can make a final decision regarding your treatment. Laparoscopy can be an important step in evaluating or treating a medical condition without having a more extensive operation. And women undergoing laparoscopy can usually resume most of their normal activities very soon after surgery.